Well, good day to you on a grey day here, which uh, promises rain, but promises way beyond that what should be a really good game of football. The stands are packed here, people have done everything they can to get here. Indeed, the roads outside were pretty badly clogged, but I think most of the traffic issues have been settled, and indeed, I think most people have now got through the turnstiles and are well covered up against the elements, whatever they may throw at us over the next hour or two. Well, this really is a great venue. It adds so much character to every game it stages. Manchester United have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, the lone striker has to be prepared to do some of the work himself, but essentially he needs two of the three central midfielders to make runs beyond him and trust that the wide men can, can service the penalty box and make those link-up runs from out to in. He should get plenty of support with this setup. And that gets things running. Smalling. Valencia. And it's Juan Mata. Lukaku. It's anyone's ball. It's bounced out. A great save. Real class. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. With his head, but couldn't steer it in. Lukaku. Will try from distance. And that will sail harmlessly past. Lukaku certainly displayed his fine technique, but the keeper was never really in trouble. Lukaku, Stevens, quarter of an hour played. Neither side yet able to force a breakthrough here. And it's Murray. A good challenge, stood up well against his man. Shaw, very firm in standing his ground there. It is a tough full contact contest. He's left his man, has a pop! Tried the volley, but no. Lukaku cannot be faulted for trying. It was asking to be hit just a bit straighter. Murray. Stevens, it's a busy front line, uh, lots of movement. And is that working for you? Well, not really, to be honest. I, I'm not a great fan of taking goal potential away from the penalty box. Kyle, now it's Murray. Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Kyle plays it out to the wing. March. Izquierdo. He's got away. It's a very good battle there. Terrific to watch. Going through. A chance. It's Lukaku. Lingard shoots. Manchester United! Manchester United take the lead! Well, it was a hefty deflection, but he's claiming it.
Manchester United take the lead, 1-0. Well, just listen to the reaction. I think you can hear the approval from the support all around the stadium. Stevens. Defence has got rid of that. And it's half-time here. And there we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Four and, and overall approach. Manchester United head into the dressing room, pleased with the thought that they have that all-important lead. Analysis to come during the break. We're promptly into the second 45 minutes. Manchester United carrying a one-goal lead. That's the throw. Some activity down on the touchline. It seems there's going to be a change. Pogba. Lindelof. Lingard. And it's Shaw. And it's hoisted clear. And the shot! That is wayward. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. Lindelof. Good running with the ball. Can they build on it? He's got away. Lukaku just doesn't give up. You just know he'll be in there again before long. Oh, look, his determination needed to be greater than the obstacle he was faced with, and it wasn't. The ball's come loose, and the chase is on. Gross. He's left his man. That's a throw. Ah, oh, now some movement on the bench, and we are going to see a change. Well, you have to feel a little for the player been taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. Forward it goes. Brings it forward. Going through. Lukaku. Lukaku shoots! It's in! And they are cruising. Well, he was never going to miss from there. So much to aim at. Well, he made it obvious as to where the pass should be played, Peter, and it made the finish look that bit easier. Manchester United have chosen to bring on the last of their substitutes. Lingard being applauded off here, having made a sizeable contribution. I think he's put in a good shift and, and their fans appreciate that. I think he could feel pretty happy with the, the contribution he's made. Manchester United get themselves a two-goal cushion. That second goal is such a, a polarising effect on prospective moves. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. He's got away, has a hit, and it's there! A 
and the lead is extended still further. Well, none of us were exactly sure how that was going to end up then, but I'm delighted to see such a, a happy ending after such a splendid dribbling run. I mean, he really did fool that defence into wondering what he was going to do next. Well, it's an inspired substitution, terrific move by the boss. That's how you make an impact as a sub. You know, when most are tiring, you can impose a freshness and energy to best effect. What an introduction. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition look completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. He's left his man. Togba. Towering header. They've done it. Players ecstatic, fans delirious, this is utopian. Manchester United are really pouncing on any straight passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net, it's counter-attacking heaven. The changes then in quick succession. I think you have to admire his willingness to keep plugging away, but the manager has, has done him a big favour, I think, by, by taking him off. You know, he was looking very, very leggy. Manchester United tear their opponents apart once again. They are utterly ruthless. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. There is the final whistle. Oh, great day for attacking football. The artists have painted their pretty pictures. Only one team in it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? Yeah, we knew there was a sizeable gap in the quality of both squads and, and the story was told in predictable fashion. So that's it for today. Thank you, Jim. And good afternoon, all.